Hello, I'm Kat and this is 10 Minutes Long and um, today I'm talking a little bit about DIY I guess. Um, so I've moved into this new house, I'm not a massive DIY sort of person. Uh, before this point my, my real experience with it has just been putting like flat pack furniture together which I'm actually not that bad at, to cross say. Um, but now that I've inherited, or well not inherited but now that I've bought this house there's a lot that needs to be done so I figure you know that's going to be great to show you kind of like you know when you see DIY videos and everything looks perfect it's not it's probably not going to be like that and you know learning this stuff for the first time there's going to be mistakes and you know it's not always easy to get like a finish that you want and it doesn't always look perfect but we can still make it look good and functional and all that kind of jazz so first things first behind me you can see a window and um, there are a few problems with this window that I want to address and so that's what I'm going to be doing in this video. So firstly there's a lot of crap on the windowsill that I need to take off um, and I've put the blind down because um, obviously I, my neighbours have not given permission for their <laughs> mug shots to be in this video so I've just put the blind down. First things first you can see here, if I just move that out of the way, but there's quite a lot of mould um on the window and there's some in this corner as well um and i think a lot of that is due to the fact that there's no seal um around the window so you can see there it's just i can get my nail in there so there's no seal um obviously the window is a bit dirty as well and there's this blind um which is pretty old um and not looking great so um as windows go it's it's fine but i think you know a little bit of tlc would do it the world of good so what i'm going to do is um clean all this stuff off here and then um i'm gonna try and fix it up and um you can see how that goes in this video so first things first, remove crap from windowsill and try to find somewhere for it to live even though everything's still in boxes and still a huge mess. But hey, you can't clean a window when it's got stuff on it. So to begin with I'm just going to um, use this to clean the mould. I'm just going to pop this on, leave it for a little bit and clean it off. Then I'm going to clean around the outside because you can see it's a little bit dirty. So I'm going to give that a clean. I think um, then I'm going to take well, I'm going to take the blind down and then clean it. Um, and then I think once I've done that, I might give it a coat of paint because I can see that you know the finish here isn't very good, and this this paint on this side isn't the right kind of paint for the wood. It's kind of like a, a matte sort of emulsion, whereas this is like a gloss. So I'm going to give it a paint and once I've done that I'm going to seal around the outside so we'll see how far we get with that in this video and um, maybe have to do another one <clears throat> but we'll see anyway that's the plan. So here I'm just using um, a bleach mould remover to get rid of the mould and trying to make sure I don't get it on the PVC and then we're going to leave it for five minutes. I've just put these up um, so that I can roll the blind up. Now it's time to rinse the bleach off and um, just using an old cloth to do this because obviously bleach <clears throat> stains and stuff like that. So this is just an old grim cloth that I'm using to like scrape the crap out of the corners. Right, that seems to have gotten the bits on the side pretty much but you can see why I think it needs a paint. Um, but also uh, there's now like white circles where this hit parts of this and not others so i'm just going to spray a little bit of that around here and just rub it in <laughs> i mean i am going to paint it but it's more just because the finish is bad and the other thing as well is that i'm pretty confident in my decision to just get rid of this bits of mold and paint it because I, don't, I think once we've sealed the window, it'll prevent any water ingressing from outside if that is happening. But I actually think this is probably more a result of um, condensation than anything else because in the month or so that I've owned this place, 
this hasn't gotten any worse at all and we've had lots of rain so I think that's what it is so that's why I'm just going to treat it and then paint it and seal it and hopefully that will sort it out and if not then I don't know I'll have to look up how to replace a wooden casement I suppose uh, so yeah I'm just going to spray a little bit more of this and then take the plank down and give it a good clean but I'll probably do that later so this video might seem a bit janky as I like cut bits of it together and so why I cut the audio for this really is just ch -ch -ch kind of sounds so yeah insert ch -ch -ch sounds while I do this if it was just a cleanliness thing I'd probably leave it but um it's not this is like it is mold whereas like this bit which just needs cleaning I'll just clean it whereas this bit is mold and I'll you know I'll give it a good clean before I paint it but I think the mold needs to go so yeah leave that for five minutes so the next step is to rinse all of the bleach off again and again you've got to do like a really tidy job of it making sure there's no bleach left so that it doesn't react with anything else um, that I'm going to put on there. At this point I stopped talking to camera because I realised that it was already taking like way longer than I thought it would but here I'm just removing the blind so you can see I've just popped out the blind and then um, taken out the little plastic clips that allow me to get to the screws. I had bought the wrong screwdriver bit up so I had to come up and I had to go and change it. So it needed a flat head, not a star head, whatever it's called. Uh, and there you can see that I've just gone into the screws and I'm just unscrewing the little plastic bits on the top. Um, made me feel quite good to be able to do this because, um, and I only was able to do it so well because I saw my stepdad put up a blind or a couple of blinds in my house like not long after I moved in so I was kind of relying on that knowledge <laughs> to like reverse engineer how to take it off because before that point I had no idea how to remove a blind at all I mean like I would have googled it but I didn't know but here like uh, it was it did still take quite a bit of effort to to get those screws out because they were like in pretty solid so you can see I felt quite good about it afterwards Now with the blind out it's time to give everything a good solid clean <clears throat> so that window was absolutely disgusting it's not because of the way the the camera is shot because it's like such bright light coming through the window all the time it's difficult to see um, the actual sort of state of it but it was pretty disgusting as it goes um, but here you can see I'm cleaning the actual PVC part of it just because you know if I'm going to paint it and put up a new blind and stuff I want it to be I want it to look good so I'm cleaning it as well um, so the PVC part I am just cleaning with the sponge side of like a washing up sponge and washing up liquid because PVC is kind of actually sensitive even though it's like really durable it's quite sensitive so if you use bleach on it it can like make the PVC go yellow and if you use something abrasive on it then it can scratch the PVC and that gives like dirt and grime a foothold um, to go into the kind of like frame in future so here you can see me just just using like I say a sponge and washing up liquid and I'm like really getting in there like I've opened the window I'm going all the way around the frame all inside the frame is disgusting but I didn't go too mad I just kind of like stuck to the outside of the frame um my kind of worry with going like inside the frame is that um you'll you'll kind of like get water on the gubbins which will kind of make it go rusty uh, once I finished with the PVC I started cleaning the wood around the window so all this white stuff is is just painted wood um, and what I'm doing is painting, is um, cleaning it with sugar soap. And sugar soap is quite a common um, thing to use on painted surfaces before you um, paint them because it just gets get rid of so much stuff. I think a lot of people don't use it for general cleaning because it is it's not abrasive as such, but it is quite a harsh chemical really. Um, but if you've ever got a stain you really really can't get out, then um, sugar soap is a really good way of getting it sorted especially on walls so here I'm just going over the whole thing with sugar soap and you can see that already it's just looking just so much better even just for having had like a good proper clean um, but that's what this bit is see me reading the bottle like do I have to rinse this off that's what I was wondering at that stage does it need a rinse and the answer was yes it totally did need a rinse so I came back with a bowl of just water 
and um, back with my sponge and again just using the sponge side not the abrasive side um, and I was just using just a bowl full of water to just rinse it off um, the bowl I'm using is actually a dedicated cleaning bowl so I wouldn't recommend using your washing up bowl I mean like a washing up bowl is great for stuff like this but um, it's an old washing up bowl that I don't use for washing up anymore so if you if you ever replacing your washing up bowl keep the old one because it's really useful to have one for um, stuff like this you know for cleaning and stuff because you don't want chemicals in your washing up so yeah what more can you say really about rinsing it off but you can see that a lot of effort went into this. If you want to see what happens next, check out my next video next week.